y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel so today for my little renovating willow creek series we are renovating the pancake house so when i decided that i wanted to do a save file i knew that i wanted to stay true obviously i've mentioned this before to the towns that was created by ea and the architecture and the influence behind them but I was like, you know what? I want all new townies because I get sick of seeing the same old, same old running around. And honestly, I just, I'm over it. <laughs> but there are some that are just so iconic that it doesn't even feel right. Just get rid of. Um, well, okay, I kind of get rid of them, but I, I, I spice it up a little bit. So here is what I'm doing with the Pancake family. I'm going to do it with the Goth family, the Caliente family. Not every single pre-made family uh, by EA. But just the iconic ones, the favorites, uh, the ones that I, you know, feel like would have, you know, a lot more fun storyline to do it this way. But I'm going to be creating their children instead. So I'm going to, okay, I deleted Bob and uh, Eliza because I'm sick of them. <laughs> I love Bob, don't get me wrong, but Eliza, she's just, uh, you love her or hate her. And I'm not a big fan of Eliza. I don't think anybody is, but I love Bob. <laughs> but of course, we know that when Toddlers came out, uh, Maxis uploaded to the gallery a new Pancakes family with a baby, a toddler. Um, and his name was Iggy. And apparently he was, you know, the one that kind of brought harmony back to the family. And, you know, you could have fun with it whichever way you wanted to. I never really played with that, you know, storyline. I never, you know, dove into the Pancake family, added Iggy just to see what happens. But I kind of like that. I like that they gave the Pancakes a toddler because, you know, they had this relationship where apparently they didn't even sleep in the same bed with each other, you know. And, you know, poor Bob. <laughs> I just felt like, you know, Eliza would just be like over bearing and controlling and just Eliza <laughs> so I decided you know what I will do this for all the families um, that I decide I want to keep their name around so we are keeping the pancake name but like I said I did delete Bob and Eliza technically we're just gonna say they died they've already passed away and so we are going to be meeting his family um, his family their son Iggy he is a young adult now he is married he has a toddler and I believe they'll probably have another kid so I gave them a nursery but I don't know I just thought that would be something different something fun for you guys to play with because I know personally when I download other people's save files I love to look at all their families they've created and their backstory and I can just pick and choose whichever one I feel like, you know, I'd have the most fun telling their story. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I figured that this would be fun to do with the Pancake family. You know, maybe also kill off <laughs> Mortimer and Bella and then age up, you know, Cassandra and, um, Alexander and just you know have them have their family and just kind of play with the second generation. Um, we could just like say this is Willow Creek 20 years from what we currently know it as. So yeah, I imagined that Iggy would have inherited his family's house, his parents' house, um, and so he did some renovations. <laughs> uh, his wife, her name is Hannah, so we have Iggy Pancakes and Hannah Pancakes, and they have a toddler, he's a boy, a little boy. His name is Harley, he's very, very cute, and yeah, like I said, I do have a nursery for a future baby because I do see them just being like very family oriented. So this house, I used a lot of parenthood pack stuff. Um, I think that was the majority of what I used, so it's very heavily parenthood pack based. Um, just because, I don't know, I kind of like that vibe for this house, and just because Eliza and Bob didn't have the best relationship and Iggy kind of like saved their marriage and everything. I just figured he'd be a family man. So as far as the exterior of the house, I did the basic renovation that pretty much everybody does when they renovate the pancake house. I took that middle space that they had jutting out and just transferred it on over to the side and made it more balanced. I think it looks very nice that way. I did want to keep the color scheme to the outside of it just because I'm going off the architecture and everything that EA, you know, in Willow Creek has, is based off of. Um, so I wanted this house to be a lot more lighter and, you know, family oriented and laid back. Whereas the other two houses I've done, which was, you know, a little Daisy Hovel, which was a starter home. Um, it's very, 
you know, old fashioned looking. It's very cute though. And then the Umbridge, Umbridge Manor that I renovated. Obviously, it's, it's a very nice house. Do they have like some fancy, expensive furniture? But it's still homey. So for this house, um, I just I wanted it to just be very homey. And you know, you walk in, and it's like okay, kids live here, you know. So yeah, they also have a dog. I forgot to mention her name is Libby. She is a corgi. But yeah, I don't know. I just imagine that Iggy. You know, he's a family man, and he took after his dad in the sense that he's a foodie. You know, he's kind of lazy, like his dad was. He's a foodie. I imagine him being a chef or something like that, um, or owning his own restaurant. Restaurant, I can't talk. Restaurant or something. I may, like, build a restaurant and have, you know, him own it or something. I'm still playing around with the save file, trying to figure out what I want to do. But, yeah, I just, you know, figured... He'd be into something like that. He would kind of be more like his dad. He does look more like his dad to me. Um, you will probably see pictures of him at the end because I did mention in the last renovation I did that I was going to make these families before I took the screenshots and kind of include them in the screenshots at the end so you can get a feel of the family for the house that we're building or renovating for and kind of get to know them and see what they look like since I will kind of be explaining their story. So you will see pictures of Iggy and his wife Hannah and their little boy little boy <laughs> Harley and uh, maybe their dog Libby I'm not sure if she's going to be any of the screenshots honestly I haven't taken them yet I'm doing the voiceover first uh, so I can get stuff done and I don't get behind this weekend because I will be going out of town this weekend I'm going to the hunting camp <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that later but you know I want to talk a little bit more about pancake family here the pancakes uh, but his wife Hannah, she's blonde. She's really, really cute. Um, she's the opposite of Eliza. She's just very loving, gentle. She's a big family sim. I think they make the freaking cutest couple. Um, I just imagine them being like the best parents and just loving their little family. And you can definitely tell she had her hands all up in this renovation. <laughs> uh, so, of course, Iggy loves his wife and he gave her exactly what she wanted. So, you know, it's the bright, pretty light colors, you know, like I said, very, very <laughs> parenthood based. But yeah, I don't know. I think she did a good job renovating it. What do y'all think? <laughs> y'all better say yes, because low key, y'all know it was me. I'm the one doing this. But I was just kind of basing it off of Hannah's personality um, as I seen fit. Uh, but their son, Harley, like I said, he is a toddler. Uh, he's really, really cute. Um, he is very silly. I just imagine him just being like a little goofball, you know, being like the class um, clown in school. So, yeah, you can have fun with Harley and, you know, see where his story goes. Honestly, I... I, I I mention this every single freaking one of these I've done so far. Every time I create a family or renovate their house, I start to think about their storyline. And I freaking like fall in love with them. And I'm just like, oh man, it'd be so much fun to play them. So I, honestly, I may go ahead and start playing in my save file. Or at least, you know, I don't know. Playing with the Pancakes 2.0 with Iggy. Just because, I don't know. There's just something about it being the Pancakes. But it's not the same old, same old Bob and Eliza. So. Yeah, I don't know. I hope that they would have a girl next, but, you know, even if they have a boy, you know, whatever. Possibly more children, but there's not a lot of room to, you know, add on to this house. Um, I sh kind of struggled, because um, I did kind of want there to be three bedrooms, or actually four. There is three bedrooms, my bad. I wanted there maybe to be four I was trying to do it downstairs where I have the bathroom, but I also wanted a laundry room. I'm not a big fan of basements. I could have gave them a basement, put the laundry room down there, but I kind of liked how it was already set up um, outside of the kitchen where they have that little kind of hallway right there to the back door. I really like the look of that, so I just made that the laundry room. And I really wanted this to be like an office space or, you know, potentially a fourth bedroom. But I didn't have any bathroom downstairs. And realistically, to me, because I take Sims and everything way too serious, in a house, you're going to have a bathroom downstairs. You know, no your guests, nobody's going to want to walk upstairs. You know, you got to have a bathroom downstairs somewhere. And I didn't have a lot of room to, you know, make that possible to have this house you know big enough for a family so I just kind of just whatever we're just gonna do three bedroom so I the bathroom downstairs is uh, pretty spacious but it works I, it's not too big I, I like it I like the layout of it it's not your typical you know square that I always do <laughs> and I gave them their little office space right there um, by the stairs obviously as you can see but yeah I really like the kitchen <laughs> it's probably my favorite because I did want it to be you know, more bright colored and, you know, parent, 
hood pack themed oriented so I don't ever use these blue or you know the green colored um, cabinets and whatnot I don't know why I just typically tend to you know stick towards the wood color ones so when I do a house like this I think I enjoy it so much that's why I want to play and I think I like the house so much that's why I want to play with this pancake family more than anything it just looks so homey to me I, I love the kitchen I love those blue cabinets freaking cute just really cute Whew. but anyways yeah that is what I've decided to do for the pancake family and like I said for the goth family so you know I think probably next week hopefully sometime I'm having some trouble <laughs> with the goth house i mean there's just some things that are just unfixable and i want the goth house to stay true to the goth family i want you know maybe alexander to like inherit the house and you know he lives there with his family but you know they're the goths i don't want to completely like change who they are because they are kind of you know gothic and you know high class and everything like that so um yeah hopefully next week i will have that renovation up for you guys and i can kind of explain to you what we're doing with the family I, like I said, I'm going to get rid of Bella and Mortimer, and we're probably going to see Alexander living in that house with his family. We're probably going to have Cassandra in the city somewhere. Um, I have some ideas for that. I haven't executed them yet, but yeah, I don't know. I just think it'd be fun, you know, also maybe seeing like Don, a bunch of Don's, a uh, bunch of Don's, a bunch of Don's children running around because, you know, he's a playboy. I imagine he would knock up a few townies <laughs> and have their kids uh, running around, so we may, you know, meet some of his children or the Kelly and Tay sisters. I don't know. I just think that'd be really fun because, you know, in the Sims 2 series on my channel, we have Nina and Don who have a kid, so I don't know. Maybe they'll you know, get it on in The Sims 4, and we may meet their child in The Sims, uh, in the Kari Sims safe file. I don't know. We'll see, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, 11, 12 minutes in, and um, I'm struggling. Uh, I tried my best <laughs> to talk about the house and what I was doing, so I think I, I did it justice. I just, you know, wanted to explain that this is the pancake house, but it's Iggy, um, and just kind of give you an idea of what I wanted to do in the save file. So if you like that idea, uh, let me know down below. I just, I think it'd be fun. Um, but yeah, so what can we talk about, y'all? <laughs> um, oh, I will be going out of town this weekend. I guess we can talk about me, myself, and I. Why not? <laughs> uh, I'm going to the hunting camp. Yay. Uh, my boyfriend and his family, they are members of a hunting camp. Uh, my dad used to be a member of one, um, but it's been a long time since I've been. Um, and we would just go up there for like the big state hunts and everything. But, you know, hunting season hasn't like really started yet. So they're just going up there to like plant and everything. And I will be with his mother the majority of the time. There's this, apparently a huge hunting cabin up there that needs cleaning. Um, so they're paying us to clean it. So that's what I will be doing this weekend. So I am working my butt off today trying to do some pre-recording so i don't get too far behind in my uploads but yeah that shall be fun so um i might post some interesting pictures and uh follow me on snapchat and me on snapchat if you want to keep up with me this weekend keep up with my life in general i don't post a lot but you know <laughs> If you care, a self-promo right here. Go ahead and add me. Uh, my username and everything is down in <laughs> at the, the info section below. I'm rambling because I'm like, I'm struggling. I'm, str I'm struggling. But also, I've been recording pretty much all day. So, I'm like, I'm tired of talking. I really am. <laughs> but, you know, we're almost there. I'm going to endure until the end. And I did ask in a poll actually on Facebook, not Facebook, oh my god, Twitter, get it right, I asked, what do you guys prefer in speed builds? You know, I asked, do you prefer people talking about the build the whole time? Do you prefer, you know, random chat and stories or both? And most of you said random chat and stories and both. Some of you were like, no, I just want to hear strictly the build. Well, if that's what you want, then I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I just can't do it. <laughs> so I, I do try to do both. I do, you know, obviously like I've already done with every build and this one, explain, you know, what I'm doing, my decisions, the family living here, but then I just, I can't do it that long. I just, I can't. It's just, I can't watch it. I personally prefer to like hear stories and just hear fun chat because it personally, for me, in my opinion, makes me feel closer to the, this YouTuber or the simmer or whatever you want to call it. Um, 
like we're friends, you know, we're chatting. So hopefully y'all can call me y'all's friends since we chat and I ramble and y'all listen to me rant and rave. Um, but yeah, I mean, we did just find out that we are getting The Sims 4 Get Famous. Um, which I'm excited about. Uh, I did a reaction trailer, which I was so freaking excited. Like, I honestly got chills. I didn't expect that, but, like, I I, I just am so obsessed with The Sims. I don't think I will be 100% disappointed in anything they give us. Um, I'm just so impressed that we got an expansion pack right after we got the season's expansion pack. I'm blown away. So, I think they've obviously been working really hard. I'm excited to, you know, see more live streams and see, you know, the simmers that are going to Sims Camp in London, uh, which is really cool. I'm excited to see, you know, what content they record for us and show us, you know, little teasers and whatnot, which is really cool. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to all of that. But, yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be fun. I know some people were like, really? Like, some people are just going to be disappointed with everything and find fault, 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 flaws and faults and everything that the Sims team does. Um, which is honestly annoying to me because I think they work hard and they do a very good job. Um, they, we can't just get everything we want, right, you know, when we want it. We're not little, I mean, some people just act like spoiled brats. And I know I'm, I'm being kind of mean by saying that. But, you know, it is what it is. And I, I think it's going to be awesome. I'm excited for the new world more than anything because it's been a minute. We didn't get a new world with seasons. So, uh, I've been dying for a new world. And I'm super freaking excited. It's going to be Los Angeles uh, inspired. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and of course, that means that I will have to do a Let's Play, a new Sims 4 Let's Play, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm already kind of trying to plan my storyline and, you know, get my Sims ready uh, for that um, LP when it comes out, but I'm not a game changer, unfortunately. Um, maybe one day I will be. I've applied and everything, as most of us have, but, you know, there's so many Simmers. I understand that the, you know, they got to do what they got to do to pick who they who they think would, you know benefit and work hard uh, so i'm just going to keep grinding and keep working on my channel and then one day maybe i'll be a game changer that's my goal um and so i can start bringing early content and get my hands on things a little bit earlier to give like reviews and um whatnot so yeah <laughs> um i will have to wait just like the rest of you until the release date but i will be doing a let's play for that so stay tuned if you guys have any like suggestions any storylines that you would like to see me you know consider please help me because i am I've, when i say i'm thinking about it and planning it i haven't <laughs> as far as that's gone is i know i'm doing one <laughs> um i don't really have a storyline yet um so, yeah, if you have any ideas, go ahead and let me know. Um, I might, I might steal yours, but, you know, if you're suggesting it, you're just, you're giving me the right to maybe, like, you know, <laughs> see what I can do with it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, uh, also, um, I'm going to be starting a new Sims 3 series on my channel, which um, you should probably see, hopefully, if I'm right with my upload schedule and the way I'm doing this in my head, trying to figure it all out, you'll be seeing this first, so stay tuned for a new Sims 3 LP coming your way. Um, I tried with the uni not the university, I'm sorry. I tried with the, um, my God, I can't think. Supernatural, yes. Because, you know, it was, you know, fall time, and I figured that'd be fun, get festive, but I could not get into it, y'all. I could not. I I just couldn't, it's supernatural, I can't get into the storyline with that very well, and honestly, The Sims 3 is just my least favorite, um, I, do, I get kind of bored with it very easy, so I was like, well, I want to have a variety of Sim content on my channel, I have The Sims 2, I have The Sims 4, I really want to have The Sims 3, it just makes sense, and a lot of people enjoy The Sims 3, and don't get me wrong, I like The Sims 3, but like I said, I need something that's going to entertain me, so I did put a poll out on Twitter, and it looks like most of you would like to see me do a Sim Self series, kind of like a little legacy generation generations uh, but it will be with my sim self um, so I don't know I feel like that would entertain me because <laughs> uh, I tend to holler at my sims and like cuss at them and like call them stupid so I'd be like talking to my sim self and like it's just kind of weird and psycho sounding but at the same time I think I'd have a lot of fun with it you know 
create me and my boyfriend and like get married and have babies and like live the bougie life that I will never ever probably live in real life <laughs> but yeah I don't know I think that would be interesting some of you were like yeah sounds good so yeah stay tuned for that but anyways y'all this video is wrapping up so yeah stay tuned for the save file coming in uh, a long time it's gonna take me a long time to finish but look forward to the videos and the renovations and speed builds um and if you want to download this house individually, it will be available for upload on the gallery. All that information is linked down below. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Insta. All that fun stuff. Let's be friends. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.